Hey, college and career success. Welcome to your week nine assignment video. So that means we are officially halfway through our course and hopefully you are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That is the end of our semester. So we're gonna jump right in. This is week nine. If you have not already watched your chapter seven lecture video, you will wanna do that so that you understand the basis for your assignments this week. So you do have uh, just normal week. You have a discussion post due on Wednesday for your weekly attendance, respond to two classmates by Sunday, and then you have two assignments connected to the chapter itself. So if we go ahead and jump into our assignment folder, here is your prompt for chapter seven discussion. I just want to remind you all that it's 150 words. Uh, I am taking off points. If you are noticing that your discussion points are maybe an eight out of 10 or a nine out of 10, it's because maybe either you didn't hit on the entire post or you, you had a lower word count and so usually it's pretty clear which one it is um, so if it's substantially lower I do take those points off if it's just a few words I, I don't you know take anything off there all right so chapter seven was all about different types of thinking and one of the types was creative thinking and so your prompt is some people say creativity is in the realm of children like thinking is just for kids like creative thinking having imagination or asking lots of questions so can you think of how a child's curiosity and willingness to explore can help you understand something in college, like some a discipline, a content area, a topic that is unfamiliar to you. So you're gonna write a reflection on how you can use curiosity toward one of your most difficult courses in college. So think about the classes that you're taking right now. So maybe there's a class that's particularly challenging or difficult, or maybe you're thinking ahead to spring semester already. And there's a class that you're a little nervous about, like anatomy and physiology or psychology or whatever it might be. How could you apply the ways oftentimes kids tend to see the world with curiosity and they, they always wanna ask questions, they always wanna know what's going on. How can you kind of take that same type of thinking and apply it toward your college courses that might be a little challenging or new to you? So that's your prompt for your chapter seven discussion. So again, post by Wednesday for your weekly attendance and respond to two classmates by Sunday. All right, so chapter seven, this is another like creative thinking type assignment. So when you open it up, it's gonna open up into one of these fillable PDFs. And so this is kind of one of my most like, favorite assignments to look at whenever you guys submit this, because I really am curious how you're gonna to respond to these. So it says, here's like a little scenario. Your institution, so let's just say Stark State, has cut funding to the library, tutoring, and the wellness center effective immediately. You know very well that you and your fellow students' success will suffer because you don't have these services. What would you do? So kind of think through what you would do, right? And then there is a list of people. I'm hoping that as you look at this list, most of, if not all, are familiar to you. What do you think they would do if they were faced the same situation? So Bugs Bunny, Oprah Winfrey, Bill Gates, Martin Luther King Jr., Teresa, uh, Mother Teresa, Jay-Z, Malala, Yusuf Fazi, and Harry Potter. If you are unfamiliar with any of those, some of these are real people, some of these are fictional, like obviously Bugs Bunny is fictional, Harry Potter is fictional. The rest of these are a series of um, artists, political leaders, uh, different people that you can look up to, business. So if you're unfamiliar with any of those names, just do a quick Google search uh, and, and you can kind of see <clears throat> what they were most known for. So your job is to come up with what do you think these people would do? So what do you know about Bugs Bunny? I'll kind of give you an example. We know that he's a little zany. He's, he's sneaky, right? He's always evading capture. So what do you think he would do to be able to you know, bring back or make awareness of or raise money for or anything like that for this scenario where services are being taken away. You know, for instance, Bill Gates, what would he do? Um, use what you know about them. You know, Harry Potter, obviously fictional, but there's that, that wizard piece of it, that magic part of it. Martin Luther King was a great speaker and a, a, a good leader. So what do you know about each of these individuals and how would they go about helping this situation? What would they do? How would they use their skills, their musical skills, their leadership skills, their, um, their money, anything, their creativity? How would they go about coming up with solutions for this problem? Once you've brainstormed them, you'll click them right in here. You know, you'll type it out. And then of your list of potential solutions, which are most realistic, odds are Bugs Bunny and Harry Potter are not gonna be the most realistic. But which are the most exciting? Maybe there's an exciting solution that Harry Potter would come up with. 
So you'll answer those. So as always with a fillable PDF, when you're done, come up here and make sure that you save it with your changes so you do not lose those changes. Come back in here and make sure that you submit that, um, you, you find it and submit it, browse your files. All right, so if you have questions on that, let me know. And this is, again, because chapter seven was about creative thinking, so that's part of this, right? We're coming up with creative solutions. All right, and then your chapter seven quiz. Again, I just want to, I am, as we are progressing, I am getting a little bit more nitpicky with your responses. So if it is not two to five complete sentences, I am taking off points. If you're not hitting on all the pieces, I am taking off points. If you are just kind of like very vague. Uh, so just, again, I'm, I'm trying to, like the first several weeks and several chapters, I was a little kind of flexible with the grading, but you will see maybe a point taken off here and there um, if you're not hitting on everything or, you know, completing the whole sentence. So question one talks about open-mindedness. Do you think you're open-minded? Um, does it matter on the subject? Does it matter who you're talking with or the circumstance? Does anyone ever question your open-mindedness? That's question one. Question two, inside our chapter, and then if you've already watched the lecture video, there's a slide that talks about Mark Twain saying he believes that there's no such thing as a new idea, that everything is basically recycled. So do you agree or disagree and why? And provide examples to support your opinion. Question three, have you tried doing anything new this semester than you've done it in the past? For instance, have you tried a new study technique? Have you tried a new note-taking technique? Have you tried a new you know, way to prepare or manage your time? Anything like that. Um, how do you, and if you haven't, why not? Or do you just feel like very comfortable with the way you already do things? Um, do you feel comfortable changing things? What can you change up? So you're just kind of reflecting on trying new things or how it's gone if you've tried new things. Question four is logical thinking. That was another part of chapter seven, like logical thinking through. Think about a time that you've resolved conflict. It says work, but you know, depending on your circumstance, maybe you can talk about like a family situation or a school situation if you're not in the workplace right now. Um, what? How did you go about resolving that conflict and, and what role did you play and how did that happen? And then question five is metacognition, thinking about thinking. So it says, when did you first become aware of thinking and how you think about things? Do you know the, your thought processes? Has your metacognition or your ability to think through things changed over time? So you're really reflecting on your metacognitive kind of awareness. All right. So again, you will submit that when you're done. So as a real quick recap, you are posting your original response in your chapter seven discussion form by Wednesday, responded to classmates by Sunday, chapter seven assignment and chapter seven quiz by Sunday as well. Hope you have a great week. Bye.